Hello, I'm Josh Heyer. Uh, I'm originally from Titanka, Iowa, greatest city in the whole wide world, population 500. I currently live in Hoboken, New Jersey. I've lived there for the last eight years. Uh, I've been on the Whitman team for three years. I was the first member uh, and started the team with Tyler. Okay, so you're from Iowa. Why did you move to New York City? Uh, I moved to New York City uh, because I graduated in the Great Recession and I could not get a job literally anywhere. Uh, and I got a job offer out here and, and made the move. In your opinion, what's the most up and coming neighborhood for buyers right now and why? I would buy on the Lower East Side. There's a ton of development. Uh, it's sort of like the last pocket of downtown Manhattan that has not been developed yet. So I think there's a great opportunity for um, a lot of appreciation. So you live in Hoboken, you mm -hmm. have a good love for the Lower East Side for mm -hmm. buyers. Mm -hmm. If you were gonna rent or buy, it doesn't matter. Where would you choose to live if you were moving across the water and into New York City? I would live in the East Village or Harlem. Uh, both great neighborhoods with great restaurants, great nightlife. Uh, I would definitely make the move there. What's the weirdest thing that you've seen in the subway or streets of New York City? I mean, there could be like, <laughs> like 20, you know? Um, one time I saw a guy dressed as Batman, riding a bicycle, screaming Michael Jackson at the top of his lungs, and he's my hero. And it was normal. <laughs> yeah, it was normal. <laughs> <laughs> Why should someone work with a buyer's agent? Number one, it's free. So you should definitely work with a buyer's agent. Number two, New York City real estate is nuanced and complex, and you cannot tackle it on your own. So leave your ego at the door and, and hire a buyer's agent. What's the difference between a condo and a co-op? Condo is, uh, can be used for investment property where co-ops cannot. Co-ops are a corporation, um, but they are at much lower price points. So a lot of my friends have told me, don't buy any co-op, it's so hard to get approved. Is this a misconception or what do you think? Total misconception. Uh, it really comes down to the buildings and co-op policies vary building to building, uh, but that's not something that you should stray away from and you're gonna get a lot more value for your money. If you had a day held in your honor, what would people do to celebrate Josh Heyer? Um, well, if I had a day held in my honor, I think that is probably my greatest nightmare because I hate being the center of attention. So, but I kind of uh, envision like uh, in Mr. Deeds when they have the parade when he flies home. I think that would be. <laughs> so word on the street is you look like Michael Phelps yes. and the Property Brothers. Yes. Who do you think that you look actually more like? I think the the uh, the Property Brother, the one, not the the real estate one, not the construction one. Aren't they twins? Yeah, but they're like one's kind of pudgy, you know, <laughs> like the non pudgy one. Yeah, the the non pudgy real estate brother, but on a good day, maybe Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh, okay. But I need to hit the gym. And maybe the casino. <laughs> what are one to two things you wish all buyers knew about purchasing in New York City before they kicked off the search? One, it's gonna take a lot longer than you expect it to. Um, and two, it's it's a lot more complex than, than you understand, especially the co-op uh, market and what it takes to get into a co-op building. From contract to closing, what's the average time it takes to close? Three months. If you're financing, which at least 50% of people are. So if you take three months from, from the time that you've actually gotten accepted offer and gone into contract, you're probably gonna be searching for at least a month before that. So minimum four months could be half a year very easily. What movie can you watch over and over and over again? Mm, remember the Titans. Why? I, if it's on cable, I, I have to watch it. Denzel, prime Denzel. Okay, last question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about the Whitman team? Uh, well, I've been here from the start and, and have helped build it up from the ground up. Um, and with the million dollar listing, it's obviously been a wild ride that, that I didn't expect, but it's definitely the culture, the, the culture of the team. Uh, we have a lot of different team members and I think that they all add a lot. So I like just you know, being around everybody every day. Well, that's a wrap. Peace.